So how are microchips made? Many may feel that the manufacturing process of microchips is akin to alien technology. But surprisingly, it shares similarities with photography, where light is used to transfer an image onto a photosensitive surface. So here's a gross simplification of the manufacturing process. Pure silicon is first transformed into monocrystalline ignits, which are then sliced into thin wafers. Each wafer initially starts out as two layers and is treated to remove contaminants. More layers are then added to the wafer, including a photoresist solution which reacts to light. After baking in an oven for a while, the wafer is removed and exposed to geometrical patterns of intense light. Any part of the photoresist layer that comes in contact with the light is dissolved away, imprinting the patterns onto the surface. Now you may be asking, what are these patterns? Well, these are engineering designs of electronic circuits. And what the light is doing is carving a mold from the photoresist layer. Here's something to keep in mind. The light's wavelength determines the degree of complexity of the circuitry that can be cut into the photoresist surface. This simply means that the shorter the wavelength is, the greater the number of electrical components that can be added to a given area. Now, as the light dissolves portions of the photoresist material, it exposes a layer below called the oxide layer. By using a liquid chemical agent, which is dispersed into the newly created cavities, the exposed layer is dissolved, etching the geometrical patterns into the silicon wafer. The remaining photoresist layer is no longer needed and is removed. You should keep in mind that this is not a one-time deal. A silicon wafer may go through many repeats of photolithography and etching before the intended pattern is reached. This is referred to as layering. So what's next? Well, now that there are tiny trenches in the wafer, additional materials can be added to create components like transistors, a process called doping. Insulators can also be added as separators and conductors as connectors. All of this will come together to form a complex circuitry, which is the core of the microchip. And that's about it for the manufacturing process. Please remember, this is by no means a complete representation. And for a more in-depth insight, I leave that research up to you.